so uh, uh, everyone can see my screen, right? Yes, Peter. Yes. So let's start from where we left uh, yesterday. So uh, one important thing uh, on the uh, CSS part is, uh, so we are uh, checking activity everywhere, uh, current that is, on every applications, wherever it is, a mobile application or a web application. So activity is uh, one kind of must thing. So we have to check. So on US and uh, UK and European countries, uh, activity is compulsory on every web application. So, so what do we need to check on the activity end from the CSS? So main two things is uh, color contrast and font size. So nowadays, uh, font size is not that much uh, mandatory, uh, but uh, the main thing uh, they are uh, putting their interest more focus on the color contrast. So the color color contrast wise, the minimum contrast on the for the uh, body font that is 4.5 4 okay. And uh, for the heading that is 3 3. So how we can uh, check the contrast and how we can change the contrast. So for that also, so please uh, you can install a uh, extension uh, this is the wcag color contrast checker this is for the from for the uh, the activity what is uh, guideline that followed this extension is followed that guideline uh, and from here Why it is not working? By this extension, you can check the color contrast. Somehow it is not working right now. So I have to check why it is not working. It is working just so. What is the ratio, color ratio? Uh, what what do you mean by four point five is to one? That 4.5 is to 1 means the background and the foreground color ratio. Here, uh, what I mentioned as a good contrast, that color background is a bit uh, low, that is a whitish, whitish yellow, that background color. And on the foreground color, that is on black. So the ratio of the background and the foreground color is 4.5 and above. That's why it is this is a good contrast. But wherever the the for this button the you, you you can see the you can't read the read properly the text inside the button hmm. the color contrast of the button background and the four font color is below the 4.5 that's why that is a bad contrast so remember that thing so whatever the, the color contrast you have used on the applications so mainly that uh, is uh, that already followed by the designer, but you can check uh, uh, the color contrast ratio by the uh, by installing this uh, color contrast checker, or you can you can find uh, on Google any color contrast checker. You can use that as well. Okay, and for the uh, that is a double A guideline. So as you as uh, you all know the. The color contra the activity had uh, multiple guidelines, single A, double A, triple A. As per the double A guideline, that co color contrast ratio of the for the body text 4.5 and uh, for the heading H1 to H5, that is 3. But as per the triple A guideline, that body con body font color contrast should be on 7, 7 is to 1, and the heading should be. 4.5 okay so that is the color contrast ratio of double as per the double a and triple a guidelines so mainly we are trying to make uh, consistent uh, on the double a guideline so double a guideline is standard so if any client or any um, uh, any service provider required the triple a guideline then we can match the triple a guideline as well the color contrast 
so these are the two uh, color contrasts and the font size should be uh, for the body font size that should be uh, 14 for the font size and the uh, and 18 for the minimum 18 for the body font size and 14 for 14 bold for the body 14 bold or 18 pixel pt here that is uh, same as the pixel for the body font size so whatever we are using as a uh, 14 pixel 14 pixel bold that is uh, good or 18 pixel minimum for the double a guideline so these are these two are the color contrast ratio and the guideline for the accessibility norms so we are uh, ending here for the first day session so any question on the color contrast so better i can show you the oh now it is working okay last okay so on uh, one when i click on this thing this page okay so all these color color contrast uh, these access uh, extension has check uh, check all the color contrast of the uh, page available page let's check here So now uh, you can see what has been passed and what is failing the color contrast. I'm taking the uh, Gmail itself. Okay. So you can see that 4.94. So as I mentioned, 4.5 and above is good for double A. Okay. So here mentioned that double A, triple A. Okay. So 4.94, 5.74, 5.98. Those are all are passed for the color contrast. So how we how we can check? See uh, the the color contrast here is foreground color is black and background color is white. So you can you can select any of any element here, okay? And you can check the guideline. Click on the click on the thing. See the primary has been selected, okay? The primary item has selected and the color contrast is six point three point one. So let's check another one. This is very good. Say we 10.47. Select that. Uh, this is this one. Highlighted. So, so whatever you have checked, that is highlighted. Uh, let's close this. Close this. Close this. So, see, the, all these are selected. Now these where this is behind that. Uh, this is one primary. This one this. So when you check the color contrast ratio, though that elemented is this one is highlighted now. So color the background color is the foreground color is white and the background color is this. The color contrast is uh, passed on the double A, but typically it is failing for the small font. Large font it is passed for both. So this way you can check the color contrast ratio and all above are the failing that is one these all are failing huh? this this color contrast is see there the background color is also white and the foreground color is white so background color is this one and foreground color is this one the ratio is 1.04 that is not past the double a and triple a activity norms even on the google gmail so this way you can check the color contrast of your web application any question so i'm taking it as no going to next part so today is day two and today uh, we will uh, know about css selector css properties and values then css units and how we, we we can use the units in different different units different different place so first css selector what is selector what is selector so selector whatever we are selecting to apply the css those are the selectors 
so selectors are different kind of selectors we are using throughout our css the first and uh, most usable selector is the id and class on the simple selector sense we use id and class so what is id and what is class you you all know uh, so id the id selector starts with hash in uh, any name the class the id name okay so i am added a name wrapper and put um, background as so i have added a id id start always start with hash then the id name inside that uh, id on, on the curly brace i have added property and then the value of the property then i am adding this id to my html okay so here we added a class so instead of class i am adding id so i have to mention id okay equal to then inside the double quote put the id wrapper okay without hash when you mention the id on the html don't put the hash and add the hash only on the id name on the css file but when you mention that add the id on the html don't put the hash or for class don't put the dot so i added the wrapper here and now see the background color is added on the as per the, as i added the id on the id wrapper is added and the style is here you can check the background hash ee -E -E, the background color is added on the id so this is a id selector same uh now i am added uh, adding a i'm going to the class selector so what is class selector class selector always start with dot class is always start with dot dot so id start with hash id name start with hash and the class name start with dot so so i uh, i am adding a class main container okay so you can use uh use uh, upper case uh, lower case you can use that start with letter always but uh, it is recommended that don't use upper case with uh, class name start with class name always uh, start with lower case and then you can use the upper case i can write the main container with uh, underscore with hyphen uh, sorry with hyphen with underscore hmm. but never like this with space this will uh, in this way this class will not work you have to put underscore or hyphen in the class name or you can use upper case like this main container or you can use uh, numbers 1 2 3 <laughs> or underscore one so this way you can use the class name you can name the class main container i am adding border Ten pixel border to the main container. Okay, so and uh, 
in now similar to the id i am adding a div here and class all small inside double quote i just mentioned the class name main container okay. um so i'm inspecting element uh, inspect the code inside the div wrapper here is the main container class main container you can see the class name 10 pixel and 30 pixel okay so this is the these are the simple selectors now the combined selector the combined selector nothing but a relationship between multiple class or multiple element inside that parent so like here i have uh, my i have uh, wrapper as a parent then main selector okay so inside the main selector i have h1 p p okay so now i am adding uh, one more main selector and i have main container and i have put one two on it okay and now I'm adding the relationship here. So main container, I have added H1 color earlier as uh, the color is this one, okay, orange kind of color. And now in container and H1. color so i added main container then put a space then the another selector h1 okay so this is what this this is the parent class then i have added a space then h1 so this way i can select the see this one is h1 and this one is also h1 but this select the the root class root uh, uh, class of h1 root style of h1 okay that is uh, this one h1 but this one as it is under the main container and i have at uh, establish a relationship on main container h1 then put the style on the particular h1 so it's impact the only that to h1 which is inside the main container others h1s are not impacted they are as it is so this way you can establish the relationship between a uh, child element inside a uh, inside a container inside a div uh, whatever inside you will like so and put the class so one more example of combined selector you can use uh, you can use Pritam, can you explain that uh, combined selector again <coughs> how how that <coughs> i'm sorry so you applied a class called as main container and you also applied h1 to it so mm -hmm. which h1 got applied I, I was a bit confused yeah okay sure let me add here so one more example i am showing with evil and eli okay 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 Preto. So answer of your question, uh, question. Uh, so I have selected this main container. Okay. Okay. 
okay and I applied the css particular css for this h1 so if i put any h1 outside of that div so i have added one more one more h1 here okay that is outside the main container div okay okay it will automatically select this class which has no relation with main container so i have mentioned main container then h1 it will apply the that particular css to those h1 which is inside the main container only okay so container, those are not impacted okay so line number 29 the css which you have added it is only applied to the class main container inside it there is an h1 tag to which the css will be applied yeah and outside the main class which you have written an h1 tag like mm -hmm. abcd something something mm -hmm. for that the css is written separately on this page like below in the css line the line number nine that mm -hmm. will be applied to that yes right and similarly if i if you can just go up if you can just go up and the code uh, like uh where the h1 tag is there inside the class okay so if i want to do for h1 class p i can do that right dot uh, class name and p then it will be applied to paragraph exactly okay okay thank you pritam i got it yeah if you put that if you put a uh, main container okay i am adding that main container okay then p and i am adding font uh, family to different font adding, adding a different font family okay and okay. Font, and font size will be a larger so it will only impact okay i got this, it it, is, uh, it only impacted the class yeah. the paragraph inside that class that class it will select the parent first then check whatever inside that parent that will imply okay, on okay that. thank you i got that okay so the same way you can uh, uh, here you can uh, apply the classes on the main container to ulli so main container to i am adding a class to main container to okay and then you will okay i am adding um, display in line in line block okay so it will include the next part as well so i'm adding the properties different different properties with the uh with inside the class and adding their value so on next part of today's uh, training i will add uh, i will explain the property and the values uh, so i am uh, explaining that as well here so you can see the changes adding zero okay and i am at now um, i have i have added style to the ul now i am adding style to li so what I am doing, I first mention that parent name, then UL first, then inside UL I have LI here. So you can check the main container to and inside that first UL come. UL is a parent, then that inside that every UL is multiple LI. So LI is a child of the UL. So I have selected the LI next to the UL, then I added style. after li i have one more child that is called a so now we have ul li and a now i'm let me refresh the page so see 
now change the color color of the a to uh B, uh, the A has been changed to 222 and the underline, we have removed the underline. So let's check here. We have main parent container, main container 2. Inside that, that you will then LI see the relationship relation here. Okay. You will then LI, I have selected the A. Then a text decoration and color zero. So this is the combined selector. Uh, you can use establish the relationship of parent to their child. Okay. So Pritam, here you drill down just basically the lowest uh, child of that parent, right? A is the lowest child of that parent. So it yeah. will, this will apply the line number forty-four. Uh, voila, decoration. Uh, the CSS will be applied to the A tag, right? A tag, right? The last okay. one. Okay, okay. So whatever the selector is last, that will apply on that. Okay. The font size will apply on the LI. These properties are applied on the UL and these properties are applied on the AI, the last selector. Okay. Okay, Prithu. Thank you. Okay. So two more. Uh so now I uh I shows that uh parent relationship. Okay. Now we can add multiple class on a single div. Okay, so main container is here. I am adding one more class here. So see, So here the main container we have along with that i need the additional class for this page so i added main home one more class okay now uh every on our on my every, uh, whole application every page has main container but but for this particular page i need few things on this particular page which i don't need on the other page so i what i have to do i have to I have to add a specific one more class for this page only. So I have added main home on this page. Okay. Now I am adding main container. So I have um, dot main container dot main home. So what is the difference between parent relation? Parental relation and the, the adjoint class relation. Here, only thing is there is one space, but here there is no space. Okay. The we are adding the two more uh, two classes. Uh, we are joining two classes. Uh, so we are applying the CSS for the the last one selector, which is adjoint with main container. So here. We have two uh, in home. Okay, so I am adding main home. Mm -hmm. If I create another page, okay, so I'm So I have about and here I don't need home. So main container in my both class, both page. Okay. But on home page, I need specific things. So I added main home. So now check index have my home. Okay. Whereas the about has don't has the don't have the my home. 
so you don't have my home where is main container without my home that is different but index here we have main home so that is adding that background CSS additionally this way we can add multiple class on a particular team okay uh, Pritam, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. So you added two class in a you know, uh, main hyphen container space main hyphen home. But mm -hmm. what's the use of uh, adding two class? Because you could have added the CSS of main home into main container itself, right? Because main yeah. home is not there defined anywhere else. No, no. The main home is not anywhere, right? So main container, I, I have main container as a common class in throughout the application, right? Okay. Okay. okay so okay. but on main home on main home inside that main home of some uh, some child element has different uh, things so, uh, here uh, here is div which have a different style okay. so same div has inside the about us page but that has different style so how we can apply that particular thing on that uh, div so that's why I added the main home, okay, specific for the this page, okay, and apply this particular those changes on the this div, which is not available on this page. Okay, मतलब जहाँ पे main container की भी ज़रूरत है, पर किसी किसी section में main container के साथ मुझे add on भी कुछ करना है, तो main yeah. home भी add कर दिया आपने. ये पर्पस है बेसिकली उसका राइट सेम कंटेनर ये मेन मेन कंटेनर आपको हर जगह मिलेगा ना द मेन कंटेनर इज अवेलेबल थ्रूआउट द एप्लीकेशन बट पर्टिकुलरली ऑन द सम पेज यू नीड सम चेंजेस ऑन पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई दैट विदाउट टचिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर क्लास सो आई कैन चेंज आई कैन ऐड अ डिफरेंट क्लास हियर बट यू कांट चेंज द दिस क्लास सो इन दैट सिनेरियो यू जस्ट एडेड अ एडजॉइंट क्लास ऑन द पेरेंट and establish a relationship with that div and change the necessary do the necessary changes okay i got it thank you thank you sir okay so sim combine selector uh, i have completed combine selector so anyone else have any questions on the combine selector on or the simple selector Okay, so going ahead. Next thing is pseudo class element selector. So pseudo class, what is pseudo class and pseudo element? So here I have added thing. So oh, I have added uh, a ULLI here. Now, now let me add the pseudo thing. So LI is here. Okay. I'm creating a menu. So I have created a, a menu home about services contact. Okay. So I'm applying the classes. Now there is no effect on hover or active nothing is there so 
let use the pseudo classes and create the effect okay So now I added uh, 222 color to the A tag. So that's why it is uh, looking like this. Okay. Now I am adding hover color, okay, which is changing hover color to. Yeah. I have added hover, which is a pseudo class hover. Now you can see the color on hover okay so what is hover hover is a pseudo class hover active those are focus those are all pseudo class now let me tap those i'm pressing tap on services nothing is there no changes there okay so now i am putting adding focus add background on the focus to refreshing the page now let's check focus color in the focus similarly you can add active you can uh, add active plus in two ways colon active you can use dot active you can use hmm. so both you can work so those are the pseudo classes and uh thus what is attribute selectors attribute selectors are uh, on pseudo selectors one more thing on the pseudo selector the main thing one more main thing uh we have four element here the same child inside the ul we have four allies so four child inside the ul now i need as per the uh, design i need the third selector the third ally should be bold or italic or color change so how we can apply that so now i am applying that i am selecting the main container to ul ally colon nth hyphen child key so what a, what number you are putting the inside that nth child element that will select the that child only onto it bold let's go and check see only the third element of that li is now bold so what i did i have added the pseudo class nth child inside that mention the number of the child and adding the style okay so this kind of style you can apply in uh, table any any uh, parent child relation you can add that kind of style you can add three uh three n even okay so what is means n so three n means you have multiple row uh, of the table so here you can the three n means every third in row every third child will be uh font weight will be bold so you can add four n minus one that is three n so this kind of expression you need uh, in different different scenario so we can apply those expression here as well. Now uh, the 
uh, here is again uh, that is that one was um, pseudo class okay pseudo class and pseudo element okay and now uh, the last one the last selector one that is uh, attribute selector so what is attribute selector the attribute selector is which selects the attribute of a attribute of a div right so here i have added two example okay now if i added the div class up key equal to top so i write main instead of uh, top okay and then hyphen so what we'll do what this will work how it will work so it will select the div which has main okay as the part of his name and then apply the though apply those uh css on those particular divs so i am let me copy here the same thing repeatedly now i am i have changed the see container container b container two then in container three so what i did i have i have added four div it has been container two in name class name it has been container four it has been container three but these two these two don't have any main in their class name so that selects only those divs which has main name on their class so it has main 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 so this attribute selectors only select those classes which has main on their name so this way you can select those classes uh, partially which has partial name with partial name you can select the class any question no pritam yes someone saying something okay so going forward uh classes selectors are done so properties and values uh i can uh, i have already shows you the various property of the css so you can use those throughout your application uh margin padding border color font family those are self explanatory border with border you can use uh, the border of the of a div of a selector color is for the font color font family for the uh whatever style of font you are using font size for that size of that font display is used to uh, property to uh, place that uh, um, place that div how it uh, plays on the page mm. flex i will uh, explain you later it uh, it is vast thing i uh, will so explain it later so margin is adding margin margin uh, what is margin and what is padding a bit confusing thing what is margin and what is padding margin is always applied to the outer side of the div outer side of the container outer of, of the div and padding is applied on the inside of the div just remember to do these two things margin is applied outside of the div so here is uh, if you go yeah so i have added margin see here the margin orange in orange color okay 
that is margin here 30 pixel is margin okay now i am adding add, adding padding adding is applied on the inside of the container so that is the main difference the margin and margin and padding so uh, font size padding background is used for background color Font weight line height is uh, used to uh, the line height between two lines. Border areas is used to. So, Pritam, when you apply line height, so yeah. you say there is a height between two two. Space sentence. between two lines. Space between two lines, right? Mm -hmm. So it is uh, applied above or it is applied below. No, it is applying space between two uh, lines. Let me explain it. Yeah. So, show me example yes, then, yes. Yeah. so the font size, let me use the font in this case, the font size to 16 to uh, explain better. Okay. It's on the about the switch. Okay. About the switch. Okay. In container about the switch. Main container border 10 pixel margin. This okay. on side 16 px. So I have uh, added the change the font size to 16 pixel and increase the line height. Okay, line height to 24. The standard line height is uh, 1.5 of the font size. Okay. Okay. So you can see here the main container. The font size is for 24. So now I'm increasing the font size. See. The space between two lines are increasing. Okay, I got it. I got it. So whatever my font size will be, if suppose it is twenty, so one point five should be the spacing 30. between. Yeah, thirty yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So I have a font size as sixteen. So now line height is twenty four. This is the standard practice. Okay. Yeah, I understood. Thank you, Pritam. So you can check that various uh, uh, CSS properties and values in your own. So if, we, if I explaining each and every CSS properties, that will take three days. So uh, you can check those, the units and its uses. So on the uh, on CSS, we have we are we used uh, many units. So PX, PT, percentage em rem vw vh so what is that so px and pts are the absolute value those uh, units are absolute what do you do mean by absolute so px if i use here i is px 30 px so that means that 30 pixel is absolute to the application now if i use uh, margin bottom equal to 20% will behave differently or uh, let's think, uh, now I am using width equals to 1024 px that means I have added a absolute value to the width which is 100 1024 section 1 Anywhere we have section one? No. Let me put a class on the index page.
so now it is 1024 i have added the absolute value now instead of 1024 i am adding 90 percent now it is a relative value relative to what relative to the browser window size if i if i decrease the browser size it will automatically adjust to the 90 percent of that browser now if i so this is a relative value if i put now uh, so percentage is relative value pixels are absolute value pixels are what pixels are one nineteenth of an inch so it will it will depend on the uh, device to device now we have retina display 3x 4x display so in on, in those uh, in those display it will uh, differ not everywhere it has uh, in one inch 96 by one pixel pt is similar that is uh, 72 part of the one inch equal to one pt percentage i have shown you the em what is em em uh, ifrml em stands for ifrml so what is ifrml ifrml is stands for the font size of the uh, body content body font size so if i if i here mention the font size equal to 60 pixel and now i font size mentioning font size equal to 2 r e uh, sorry 2 em okay so what is the fonts what will be the font size of the h1 font size of h1 h1 will be 2 em 2 em mean 2 em means 32 pixel why 32 pixel because i have mentioned that in the body font size it's 16 if i change it to 19 or 20 lay let's start 24 okay now if i see every font size has been changed it is now 2m 2m is fixed so this is the advantage of the using of em so 2m is fixed i i am not changing everywhere the font size i just change the body font size to 24 pixel and rest of the font size is automatically calculated as per calculation with respect to body font size so I have changed that body find to 10 pixel, 12 pixel, and see the the font size of the body content and the font size of the heading will automatically change. Similarly, the REM is REM stand for root element. This is same as EM. We are using EM in the body and we are using the REM. So here I have used root and mention the font size equal to 24 and use two REM. Now it is 2 REM. Now it is 2 REM means what we have mentioned in the root element. We have used font size mention 24. Now automatically it is 48 pixel. And the uh, rest of the font size will, uh, it is not taking the body font size. Yeah. I have, after the body, I have used root element and mentioned REM. So it will take the root element font size of uh, mention on the root element and as per the calculation they will end up the thing okay. it is the rem the, the vw and vh is nothing but the viewport height and viewport width so uh, 
the this is similar to the uh, percentage viewport what is viewport height viewport height is uh, whatever you can see on the browser this is your viewport okay this is your viewport from here to here the what the browser size is actually viewport if you uh, mention uh, the width is 30 vw so it is the 30% of the width of 30% width of the browser width okay similar to the percentage similarly vh is the same thing as viewport height So these are the CSS units and its uses. So anyone has any question on this area? The selectors, CSS properties and values, and the CSS units. Any query? No, Preto. So you are all clear on the these items right px pt percentage rem em vwbh right great so tomorrow we will start uh, from the next part which is uh, the how to style the elements available on the application we will explain elaborately flex what is flex and what is CC media queries okay. so let's conclude it see you tomorrow all thank you and bye bye thank you Peter. thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.